Guys, um, Pac-Man Trolls here with another Magic the Gathering deck tech. This time I'm doing Boros Guild Gate, or my Boros deck. We'll start it off with the lands. Obviously, I have what I said. Um, I have two of the Boros Guild Gates. They enter the battlefield tapped, and when they add a red and white mana to your pool, so two of those. I have ten basic plane lands. So ten planes. And 10 mountains. So, land base is 22 cards. Um, for our creatures, we have two of the Seder Hoplites. Whenever we cast a spell that targets them, they get a plus one, plus one, and they are a 1 1, 1 drop for 1 1 red. For 1 red. Um, I basically just have those guys in there because of the fact that they help me just have a 1 drop, really. I don't have any spells that really target them. You know, so that's basically the thing, except for maybe some enchantments. Uh, two more one drops we have are the Even Skirmishers, one white for a 1 1 with flying, so flying defense kind of chump block flyers, kind of in a way. For our two drops, we go into the uh, two drops. We have Leaping Master, one red, one colorless. It is a 2 1 that you can tap a white and two colorless to give it flying until end of turn. So that Boros is in there. Uh, we have two Fire Fist Strikers, uh, one red, one colorless. And when it attacks with at least two other creatures, they makes a target creature not able to block this turn. That's a 2-1. So that is really good to have. We uh, go to our three drops with two Vishino First Blades. These are very good cards. They are one red, one white, and one colorless. Haste, and when they enter the battlefield, they get a plus two, plus two until the turn, and they're two two. So they're a four four when they enter the battlefield, and they have haste. We have a playset of our next cards here, and these are probably the only playset in the entire deck. They are a three drop, and they are great. Sky Knight Legionnaires, one red, one white, one colorless. You get a flying and haste two two. So immediately attacks for flying in the air, great card. Um, we have one in our four drops now. Paragon of New Dawns, one white, one three, uh, three colorless. Other white creatures you get uh, plus one, plus one, and Tavern White, another target white creature gets vigilance until on a turn, and it's a two two. We have a Paragon of Fierce Defiance, one red, three colorless. Other red creatures get a plus one, plus one. Tap a red and tap this target creature gets haste. That's red, and it's a two two. So that kind of helps our white red creatures with both the counters. We have a Brian. Drought, stout arm, uh, one red, one color, one white, and two colorless. Life link, four four. If you tap a red, you can sacrifice a creature other than this, and it deals damage equal to the sacrifice creature's power to the player. So it's good for kind of planeswalker removal in a way. Uh, we have another four drop, four main, uh, fire main avenger, one red, one color, one white, and two colorless. Flying, whenever it and at least two other creatures attack, this deals three damage to a creature or a player, and I gain three life, and it's a 3-3. Three, three. So that's a good card. We have a Fire Main Angel for six drop. We go right to those. Two white, one red, three colorless, flying and first strike. At the beginning of your turn, if you have this in your graveyard or your battlefield, you can gain a life. And from for two red, two white, and six colorless, you can return this from your graveyard to the battlefield and activate it only during your upkeep. But it's a 4-3 with flying and first strike. Um, one of my favorite Boros cards, and I think it's kind of a given thing to have in the deck. It really is. This is a Boros aggro deck, so this card's great for it. Ariello, the war leader. Two white, two red, two colorless. Flying, vigilance, haste. It attacks for the first time each turn. Untap all creatures you control. After the phase, there's an additional combat phase, and it's a 3-4. So you can immediately attack with it, and it just annihilates stuff. And then our last card is a 7-drop Siege Dragon. 2 red, 5 colorless, flying. When it enters the battlefield, destroy all walls your opponent's control. Whenever it attacks, defending player controls no walls. It deals 2 damage to each creature without flying that player controls. And it's a 5-5. Five five. So yes, for the most part, this deck is kind of Boros aggro flying. So it's a very good deck in my opinion so far. Uh, we'll get into our instance. We have one Demystify, uh, one white mana, you get to destroy a target enchantment. Uh, we have one Lightning Strike, one red and one colorless, you deal three damage to a creature or a player. 
one skull crack, great for Boros. Uh, one red, one colorless. You get to have players not be able to gain life. Damage can't be prevented, and it deals three damage to their face. Um, we have one shattering blow. That's a uh, one red, one white, one colorless. It gets to exile or one, well, a red or a white, and then a colorless, and you get to exile target artifact. One Lightning Helix. This is a great burn card. Uh, one red, one white. You get to deal three damage to a target creature or a player and gain three. Two of the Raise the Alarms. You put to tap one white, one colorless. You put two one one soldiers out. So you get some token producement. And one Congregate. Uh, one white, three colorless. You get to gain two life for each creature on the battlefield. So that is our instance. Our enchantments in the deck are very different, kind of. It's a pretty good deck for this. Honestly, it's more for... Um, it's it's a really good deck card. Uh, Ethernal Armor, we have one of those. For one white, you get Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature gets a plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control and has first strike. We have two of the slowdown cards that I love so much. Pacifism, one white, one colorless. Enchanted Creature can't attack or block. Just a great card to stop your creatures. Uh, Pyro Convergence. This card's great because I have a lot of multicolored cards in this deck. So one red, four colorless. You get some burn stuff for your uh, multicolored spells. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, it deals two damage to a creature or a player. So you get burn spells for casting multicolor. And then we have a multicolor enchantment, Gleam of Battle. Um, one red, one white, and four colorless. Whenever a creature you control attacks, put a plus one, plus one on it. So that's great. For our artifacts, we have, of course, the two and best Staff of Sun, three colorless. You get Whenever you cast a white spell or a planes in this battlefield, you gain life. And Staff of Flame, whenever three, three colorless, whenever a red spell or a mountain enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life. And then for our sorcery, we have one Righteous Charge, two white, one colorless. You get creatures you control, get a plus two, plus two until the turn. So it kind of boosts them up. And then we have a Planeswalker, a Johnny Steadfast. Uh, one white, three colorless. Till the end of your turn for plus one. Until the end of the turn, up to two target creatures get a plus one, plus one gain. First Strike, Vigilance, and Life Link. Or up to one target creature. Minus two, you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control and on each and a loyalty counter on each other Planeswalker. Minus seven, you get the emblem that if Source would deal damage to you or a Planeswalker you control, prevent all but one of it. So this Planeswalker is amazing. So that's the deck, to be completely honest. That is my Boros Aggro deck, and it it's pretty speedy. It works pretty well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and honestly, in the description of this video, I will post the deck list, and I will also post the sideboard. I didn't set my sideboard up before making the video, so I'll just post the sideboard as well in the description below. But sideboard kind of has some more, you know, copied cards, and other cards that would help us in situations where they're having huge creatures or something that I can't get out. I can use Mammoth Umbra. I have two of those in there to give the creature a mind, plus three, plus three, and Vigilance. And then if it dies, it doesn't die. I destroy the Mammoth Umbra instead. So it's a very good deck. I like it. It's very uh, aggro. You can easily just kind of annihilate the people on the field with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Boros aggro deck. Um... That's my Boros Aggro deck, and yeah, I know it kind of needs some improvements. I'm thinking of switching out a Johnny Steadfast with a Johnny Vengeant. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching. This is Pac-Man Trolls. See you later.